Please welcome your next contestant, a delusional, unemployed scientist, neurotic nerd, and a world dingus, Dr. Anurada Dar! Who wrote that introduction? I did. And today, Dr. Dar will not only be competing to impress our illustrious host, but may also gain favor with a mystery investor. Can she do it, or does a horrible death await? Remember, I've always wanted to be a siren. Whoa, whoa. I don't want your life story. Especially when it might be over so soon. This salivating Sithid can't wait to get up close and personal with our sharks. Look, we're eating way too much air here. I asked you if you're ready to sink or swim. It's how we begin all the segments. A simple yes would be fine. To swim! <laughs> okay, well, now we can start with your pitch. So, you were saying something about eating a siren? That's not exactly what I. Great! Amazing backstory. Not at all boring. You're doing great. Right, everyone? Just breathe. Remember what Octavio said. Get personal. Speaking of backstory, how's your terminally ill mom doing? Pardon? I saw an article about her in the green room. <laughs> I hope she's comfortable. She is. Good. Uh, right. Why don't you tell us about your design? For starters, what's it called? Allow me to present the Hermes! Oh god, not again. <sighs> I gotta have a talk with my producers. You're ex-Atlas, aren't you? How did you... Well, you started showing Promethea, it's bound to happen, right? But would it kill you people to play a little bit more with the naming convention? All right. On from name to design. Let's have a better look, shall we? Yeah. Wow, what a remarkable design. Really, really catches the eye! <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it's definitely not quaint, right? I'm glad you like it. I said it was remarkable, and then I remarked on it. Let's not get carried away. So, how does this gun... Device. Whatever. How does it work? You know, I was once asked that before. It was another pitch, but I was also another Arno. I made it about me. I cynically placed myself as an invaluable asset to the company. But now, with experience and friends behind me, I'll tell you how this device works. Well... Second time's gotta be a charm, am I right? <laughs> For your sake, at least. It's science. And magic. <laughs> Technically, it's magic. Well, she sounds confident, but that doesn't make any sense. Science, magic. Smagic. Don't worry about it. You seem nervous. And really bad at this. I just really don't want to be eaten by sharks. 
I don't know if this healing beam works on disembowelments. Healing beam? Yes. So, the opposite of a gun? Exactly. <laughs> Finally, someone gets it. <laughs> Pass. What? <gasps> He's gonna sink her! He's gonna sink her! As I slowly lower my finger towards the sink button... This laborious soliloquizing absolutely destroys the pacing of our show. But what can I say? I like holding people's lives in my hand. Watching the last lights of hope flicker from their eyes as they realize their project, <laughs> their life's ambition, has failed to carry water. Because here on Sink or Swim, we live and die by our ideas. And if that idea doesn't float, Finishing move, could she even? Oh, enough! She ripped the thing right off! And ate it? How do you even eat something underwater? There's so, so, so much blood. Just an inexcusable, obscene amount of blood. She's coming back up! I'm okay! I'm okay! Thanks. I've been lifting. <sighs> oh, no. I'm sorry. I couldn't. <gasps> Tell me you're getting this. I loved your pitch. Thank you. Really solid stuff out there. You hit all the marks we went over in practice. Just a bang up job. Yeah. Good up there. It should have, because it looked good. I mean, if I had a million dollars, I would invest the hell out of you. Thanks. Should I do mouth to mouth? I think that's only when people stop breathing. I'm going to do mouth to mouth. I'm still breathing. We need something. 
something else. Anu! Anu! Wake up! Stay with us! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! It's no use! She said something else! Something... else. I hate to break up this beautiful ratings moment, but didn't you rejects bring a healing gun to the show? He's right! We can use the device! We don't even know if it can reattach limbs. Well, right now is a pretty great freaking time to find out! It's working! <gasps> Thank you, magical healing gun! Device. Hot oh, diggity, you scared me half to death! Are you feeling faint? Sure you don't need a little mouth-to-mouth? Harmonic vibration seeking resonance. So that's a no then? Anu? We got Finnegan on the phone again. Well, sir, I may have an offer for you if you'd be so kind as to entertain it. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me just take you off speaker. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Yes, that would be quite agreeable. <laughs> well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen and envies, we have a sink or swim first. Now, despite me passing on your little anti-gun, you three have attracted the attention of an angel in Who is it? Who? Who cares who? How angelic are we talking? <laughs> Announcer, tell them what they've won. These lucky three contestants have just won one million dollars in someone else's money to fund their business. That's right! Booyah! Fantastic! What a roller coaster! That's our show, everyone. We'll see you here next time on Sync or Win! Now that we're a hit, here's what I'm thinking. You, me, spin-off show. We call it Octin' Around. You know, because my name's Octavio. I'd eat at an expensive restaurants with supermodels around the... Don't push it. We did not sink! We swam! I mean, yeah, you got banged up and spoke in tongues for a hot second. Yeah, about that? Probably just all the blood loss, right? Exactly! Classic blood loss. Uh, it felt... Who cares? We got our money! Cash paper! My beautiful, brilliant sister, I could kiss you! Uh... I could. But I won't. I'll kiss anyone. We know. When you fell in that tank, I thought you were dead. Me too. I totally panicked. I, and not just because, you know, you were going to die, but I just couldn't imagine going on without you. Never thought I'd get this uh, vulnerable. <laughs> it feels off-brand. That's incredibly sweet of you. I appreciate you sharing that. Yeah. I'm not sure where this is coming from. It feels like there's a jabber clawing at the inside of my chest. Feelings. They're called feelings. Hey, let's focus on the team. Anu's alive! And we don't have to waste valuable capital on getting her some cool prosthetic rocket leg or something. Rocket leg? Or a shotgun foot? Whoa. Have you met me? All I'm saying is this little beauty didn't just save your boring human leg, it saved our wallets when it saved your boring human leg. Yeah, uh, about that. Fran. Thanks. Same. 
Ladies, I think it's safe to say things are looking up. Oh. You got Octavio. Who, may I ask, has the pleasure of speaking with me? Well, how dee if it ain't my intrepid inventors what I invested in. Oh, it's the angel investor. Well, shucks now. Ain't nobody ever called me that before. I just wanted to check on my investment and... What are your terms? There's got to be a catch. Fran, don't look a money horse in its cash mouth. Oh, go easy on her, handsome. She's just looking out for y'all. Here are my terms. You make your device, and I get half the profits. Sound fair? Half, we accept. We accept. <laughs> Thanks, bye. Get out! Who gives? This isn't about the money. This is about changing the world. Considering we were about to be ripped limb from limb, I'd say 50% is awfully generous. Sure, sure. Maybe the worst negotiation I've ever heard, but whatever. I'm riding high. We got our seed money, we got a plan, nothing's gonna stand in our way. We've discussed this. I am back. Clearly. You are still alive. Albeit wet. I fought off a bunch of sharks. Oh, it was really cool. And everybody fell in love with me. Then you have secured the funding. You bet your metal butt we did. <laughs> After P... <laughs> After Pierre's ball dropped. Through no fault of my own. Right. After that, we really wowed them with a dazzling impromptu demonstration. And secured funding from an anonymous donor who, I am confident, sees our device's potential to change lives for the better. Yeah, exactly. But also, we're rich, Lou! I am relieved that you are not dead. And that you are no longer poor. We just pulled out a miracle! And we did it with style! That's gotta be worse than skateboards. You are not wrong, Francine. And, judging by your expressions and the overall, quote, vibe, unquote, I measure your team morale score in skateboards as... Eh. You have indeed secured funding, but there is room for improvement. What's wrong, pal? I, I thought you liked giving us skateboards. I do. But am I fit to give them? I had ample time to assess my programming while standing outside and arrived at a conclusion. I am a failure. I am worthless. Okay, this just took a turn. Seeing each of you grow as individuals and as a team fills me with such absolute misery. Seems self-obsessed, but you do you, bot. That is exactly it, Francine. I cannot do me. Hey, with a little practice and some mood lighting. <laughs> Fran. Despite being borderline psychotic, you are the closest thing to a functioning adult in close proximity. Hello. I hate killing, but I cannot contravene my programming. What does that say about me? We all have our own programming. The trick is to make sure you don't let it control you. You have considered letting it control you five times in the last 24 hours. Shut up. But I cannot contravene my programming. Does that mean I am weak? I don't know, life's weird. Weird is insufficient. I require objective clarity. Am I evil, Francine? Your hesitation alarms me. Though perhaps it should not. If the answer is unclear, I shall maintain my current degree of hope. Look, I'm a trash fire, so I can spot another at 50 paces, and you are a flaming dump truck if I ever saw one. What does that mean? Game recognize game. What does that mean? I feel I now have more questions than when we began this conversation. Yeah, life's like that. Having expressed my anxieties, I now register a significant, if inexplicable, closeness to you. A growing affection, one might say. Yeah, I have that effect on people, or robots, whoever. If I could provide a rating of our friendship on a scale of one to seven volleyballs, it... Don't ruin this. Hi. Um, yeah, the show ended over an hour ago. Could you all please, you know, leave now? 
Oh, God, yes. So sorry. Thank you for having us. It was nice meeting you. Let's grab coffee sometime. So, I had a thought. Did it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> we just want a bunch of money, right? So, hear me out. Maybe we need better digs than a literal pile of rubble. We just want sink or swim. We're players now. We should probably work somewhere less... busted. We can salvage this. We use the investor's money and rebuild right here. Rebuilding would take time, Fran. Promethea needs this technology now. Who pissed in your shark tank? Fran, we gotta face the facts. Look around you. This place has been bombed twice. There's nothing left. Incorrect. Structurally, there is 30% of Franz Fergus left. Utilizing reclaimed rebar and approximately a metric ton of co Why are you making that throat-cutting motion? Franz Frogerts isn't dead, dead, Fran. It'll live forever in our hearts. Sure, it can live on in your hearts, but legally and financially, Franz Frogerts is unequivocally dead. I hope this clarity was helpful. Listen, we got a different dream now. All of us together. And that dream starts with a location. Location is everything in business. Companies live and die by their real estate. Octavio's not wrong. Look at why Atlas moved their locale to space. Exactly. Yeah, it's a vital decision that will determine our level of success or failure. It's a mission of such importance that I can only entrust it to myself. It's a burden I'm honored to take for the betterment of us all. If we're getting a new HQ, can you do me a solid and make sure it has an armory? I'm not sure that fits our brand. Tell that to my Froger shop that was attacked twice. Fair. Well, if you're in charge of finding the new HQ, what am I gonna do? Oh, I have the perfect job for you. What does every startup company need? The thing that defines company culture. Frogert machines in the break room. Ah, ah? No. Sure, maybe, but also staff. You, me, Anu, and Louis, we're the think tank. We need staff to, you know, execute our visions. And you, Fran, clearly have an eye for talent. I mean, you hired me, after all. I suppose I could head down to Lore's and interview a few candidates at his cafe. I do have an eye for... talent. Exactly. Great. It's settled. I'll go get an HQ. Fran and Louie will go hire us some staff. And Anu, you'll get production supplies. Acquire testing material. Right. Same thing. I think. Look at us! Working together separately to get this business off the ground! Indeed. This deserves a skateboard. Oh goody, a skateboard. Just think. When we meet back up, this business will be operational! Dirty 30, here we come. Just call us when you found a new location, Ock. And make sure it has cold storage for my supplies. See you soon, friend. Well, I guess this is it then. Just Fran and L0U13. You didn't go with Octavio. An astute observation. Awesome. Love that for me. Can you give me a minute to say goodbye to the old place? I can. 60 seconds, starting now. So long, Franz Frogerts. You always were a bit more trouble than you were worth. <laughs> but hey, I got a new lost cause now. Friends. Well, come on, bot. I know somebody who can help us staff up. <laughs> Yeehaw!
You need a corpse to study the shard with. It's all above board. <laughs> this isn't creepy. <laughs> Remember it a joke. <laughs> oh, that's great. I was like, oh no, is she a creep? Mayhaps you'd like to hear it. How many dead orphans does it take? Uh, I'm I'm good. I'm Dr. Anuradhadar. And I am keeper of the dead. You may call me Keeper for short, as we are now friends. Oh, I... Short. Sure. I was... Uh, my company was hoping to contract an asset from you. An asset? My children shall be so delighted. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should... I, maybe this was a bad... Nonsense! We can do business. I have many products to sell, all pristine. Now, what was the name of your company again? I shall stare at you until you answer. Better World Enterprises. Ooh, quaint! That's what we all want, yes? A better world for our lovely children. This conversation is mundane. Look, I need to buy a corpse, and you seem like the most reputable... Buy a corpse? What are you, a pervert? No, I... What? You said you could sell me pristine products. I make candles. You don't sell corpses? Of course not. That's creepy. Oh, and stroking a dead body and calling it your child isn't? What? I was referring to my daughters. This wretched job is putting them through college on Eden 6. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I misunderstood. Clearly. Now, please, vacate the premises. I, no, wait. I still need a corpse. It's important for my studies. And you expected I'd just sell you one? I don't know who you are to come in here and expect me to roll out different flavors of corpse, like some sort of fast, casual eatery. But that's not what I am about. Please, I need these corpses. Your desperation makes me want to give them to you even less. No, not for anything weird. I just want to do some tests on them. Not like weird tests, but... Look, I... changed my mind. I'll sell you a body. What? Really? Yeah, I, you seem nice enough, and I mean, it's, it's not like they're gonna mind, right? <laughs> Just g give me a moment, will you? And feel free to look around.
Amanda and Lynn of the Dead graduated Eden Six Preparatory Academy. They're my whole world. Doesn't look like it's been digitally manipulated. Those poor kids have a three lifetimes worth of student debt ahead of them. Maybe she uses it for self-defense. A good engineer works with the tools she has. Scent of an afternoon snuggle. Oh, that's... <laughs> What's that? You checking out my candle? No, yeah, I was... Uh, how calming! I'm not stupid. Francine the Bandit Queen. <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend to be shocked that Fran landed herself on Prometheus' most wanted channel. too high in my fridge space. But my income level, or lack thereof, if I'm honest, is irrelevant. I challenge you to a duel. Seriously? I I'm kind of in the middle of something. Then you'll also be in the middle of losing. Now, battle! Okay, fine. One quick game. Claptrap versus Roland Vaultlander! Fight! Get up! 
just a matter of strategy. I'd be happy to offer tips to improve your game. Your victory is insult enough. As usual, I'm relegated to abject humiliation. I don't deserve to drink from the plum spiced fountain of victory. The plum spiced what? I don't even deserve to dwell with the living. Close me in. Damage from the fall seems minimal. Eyeballs and teeth all accounted for. Good as new. Except for the... Everything. Sorry. You, you, sorry. <sighs> Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Just ram the head onto the bike so we can turn this whole experience into another fun, repressed memory. What did you say? You said good as new. What's good as new? Man! I know, right? Uh, okay. I found a corpse for you if you want to see it. See it, as in go to another room. Uh, for sure, yes. Let's leave this room immediately. <clears throat> I knew I had a spare corpse around here somewhere. I was just planning on throwing out, honestly. It's getting kind of rancid, though. I is that okay? That's perfect, actually. The more decayed, the better. Sorry about this. Hey! What are you doing? Uh, there's a contract out on your head. It's enough money to pay off the girl's student debt and invest in my candle company full time. Hey, I thought you water creep, says the woman thirsting for rancid corpses. Besides, I'm not the one killing you here. I'm just the one locking you in a coffin until you run out of oxygen. The coffin's the real creep here. Be mad at the coffin. Okay. Don't panic. You're not claustrophobic. Except now that you've said it aloud, you are. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. No, think. Wait, the goggles. Come on, show me something. 
What's that? A hole, measuring 0.5 millimeters in diameter. If widened, this could provide a means to avoid capture and death by the TDOR Corporation. What? You don't talk? When did you start talking? Shadownet update illegally installed by Octavio Wallace Dar. Now, punch. Aww. Yes! How? No. How many more punches until I break through? Based on the strength of your punches, the coffin door will be compromised after 5,000 more punches. Slow and steady, Anu. No need to rush, because TDR will be here at any moment to capture and kill you. Just one punch at a time. Starting to hurt. A lot. <sighs> Come on. Almost there with about 3,900 to go. <laughs> You've reached Dr. Anu Radha Dar. I'm unavailable to take your call right now, so uh, please leave a message. Your little bro has outdone himself with the HQ mission, sis. Sending you the Addy now. <sighs> Hope you're having fun in your supply run. I saw your bounty on TV, and I'm calling to collect. Hmm. On Dr. Dar? Yeah. Awkward, nerdy lady. Dar, that's right. And she's dead? Uh, not yet. But her oxygen's sure to run out any minute now. Lovely. We've tracked your location. My mum will arrive to dispose of you. I mean, dispense your reward to you shortly. Wait, what did you say? TDR thanks you for your service. 